you don't know what you don't know. And so I think if you have been bold enough to dive in and we all dive into so many things and it's because it's exciting and it's the beginning and, and we're like, sure, I'll give that a go. Um, but you, you come to a point where the workload is enormous and you, I, I used to say that I felt like I was an octopus playing the drums. And it's just because you just, you do all of the different things. And I remember watching Quintia receive her award and her journey, I mean, my journey was hard. I don't have a business background and I hadn't, um, I hadn't done anything in, in enterprise before and it was hard for me, but uh, Quintia's journey was that much harder. And I remember watching her receive an award and, and it was almost comical because she said, you know, I used to do the bookkeeping and the fabric sourcing and the machine repairing and managing the staff and the designing and the marketing. And I, and you realize that as an entrepreneur in the beginning, you literally do everything. And you do come to a moment where you realize that you can't do everything and you're not very good at doing everything. And I think um, the hardest moment for me was realizing that something years and years and years ago, realizing that we had all of this amazing momentum on the front end but it's still you that has to get it done at the end of the day and and you go home and you're exhausted and I in hindsight uh I got so caught on the mouse wheel of orders coming in you've got to pay your staff you've got to source fabric you've got to pay more you've got to produce more clothes you've got it you get so stuck on the day-to-day -day that I didn't take a step back and really review like what was working and what wasn't working and focus on our strengths. And I made that mistake a few times. And um, I think uh, carving in honest time to look at what you're doing, look at what's working, what isn't working and be really, really intentional and honest about putting your energy into the exact right places and most effective places um, is, is my advice because I think I think it's a really, really common mistake to forego strategy because strategy involves looking three months, six months, 12 months ahead. And you're like, that's fine, but I've got to get this order made today. Um, so yeah, that's that's my advice. Put, put time in to think about it. Mm -hmm.